Simon Pritch, uh, Principal Consultant, AgriPath, uh, based in Tamworth. Uh, AgriPath is a business that's focused on the northwest of New South Wales, and we provide um, farm financial and business benchmarking services to clients, um, basically dry land and irrigation farms throughout this region, uh, plus a network of grazing farms. Uh, one of the things that we've found in our work, uh, particularly our farm performance analysis, is that uh, there's a big difference in the uh, level of performance that farms achieve financially. Uh, when we look at that over a long period of time, uh, they can vary by as much as four or five percent uh, returns. By, it can vary by as much as four or five percent over that over a period of time. I think a lot of this we can put it down to the way that the the better performing farms have actually been able to structure their farms to manage the risks that are associated with it. Some of those are climate, some of those are price, and some of those are managerial risks, um, which uh, which they can actually uh, prevent themselves. Um, but through their management systems. Some of the reasons these differences occur from, from our analysis is that uh, farmers, uh, the better performing farmers actually have fairly fixed type of cropping rotations in the northwest uh, regions of New South Wales and each of those crops uh, really not only provide a profitable opportunity for uh, that particular year but they also set up the next crop. Some of the other things that I think we find with grazing properties is that uh, one of the big challenges for farms, farmers in a grazing situation is really to try and match what they are doing with the environment that they're working in. I think uh, farmers uh, need to challenge themselves, uh, with, particularly with risk management issues going forward. Uh, climate's a particularly big one. And farmers need to go along and get an understanding of what actual research has actually been done. And from what I can see, there's a lot of good research going on as part of the initiative at the moment. I think it allows them an opportunity to challenge themselves and their own farming practices as they stand now with that new information. I think the workshops will offer an opportunity for farmers actually to sit down and talk about their own current farming systems uh, and workshop that with other people who are in similar situations that are trying things slightly different and it just gives them an opportunity to challenge what they're doing at home and also challenge each other. And, uh, one of the issues that we have going forward, we're always wondering what the next season's going to look like. And uh, some of this information can give us tools, uh, technology and things like that that are going to enable us to really work out for ourselves uh, what we need to do to manage the risk going forward.